Next, let's get into how to use the camera and where to find the pictures after you've taken them. We're gonna swipe up on the home screen and go to the camera icon. And obviously the first things I wanna point out are your shutter button in the center here. Tapping that is how you take pictures. This button here allows you to switch between the rear camera and the front camera. So switching that, now we're looking out of the front camera. Everything is the same. Now, if you wanna switch to taking a video, you have a toggle at the bottom here. So camera and video. And when you switch to video, you'll notice that you don't see a big white circle anymore. You just see a little white dot. And so that's one indicator that you're on the video setting. When you start a video, that button will turn into a little red dot. And you can use this button to pause the video, tap it again to unpause, and then tap here to stop a video. Now, one fun fact, when you're taking a video, if you tap on the shutter right here, you can actually take still pictures while you're recording video. I'm gonna tap here, stop the video. Let's go back to our camera. Now, you also have these two numbers that will show up. You have the 1X and the 1.4. This controls the zoom. This will allow you to zoom in further or zoom out. Now, in, on the front camera, you won't have a lot of zoom, but on the rear camera, there's a lot more options. You have a 0.5 which is kind of hard to see. So let me just pick the camera up here. So this is just the normal lens. If you hit the 0.5, you're switching to the wide angle lens and then go back to one and then the two. So you have a few different options when it comes to the zoom. Okay. Now you have some other camera options here. You have the portrait mode, which is great for taking pictures of, of, of folks. If someone is standing um, right in front of the camera and you do portrait, it'll make the person nice and clear and it will blur out the background. So this is a really fun feature to use. If we swipe over, we have a night sight set setting, which is great for when you're in a low light environment. Um, this will help to capture the most light possible. So that's great. You have your panoramic right here, which allows you to take nice wide shots. Then you have this long exposure setting. Um, I don't use this one too often, but um, this is also great for uh, taking a picture of moving objects and getting really cool effects. Now, after you take a picture, you'll see a little bubble to the left, and this will allow you to see the very last picture that you took for easy reference. Okay, that was the last picture that we took. Now, where do I find these pictures on the phone when I just want to go back and look at them? Let's press the home button here. We're going to go to the Google Photos app, which is right here. And this app does uh, quite a few things, but the main thing is it's your photo gallery. And so when you take pictures, they're going to save to this app and you can simply swipe through here to see the pictures. Now, um, this app will also back up your photos online. So if you ever lose your phone, you don't have to worry because you simply need to go to photos.google.com and there you can sign to your Google account and you can access all the photos that you've taken on your phone. The first time you open this app, you should see a pop-up that's gonna ask, do you wanna save your photos to Google Drive? Or do you want the app to back up your photos? You wanna say yes, and it will begin to back them up to the cloud so you can access them from anywhere uh, using that photos.google.com. These are all the photos that we just took, just the snapshots from the front camera. And down here, you'll actually see some photos that were taken with other phones that are also signed in with that same Gmail. So I use this Gmail on multiple phones. And so the cool thing is I can scroll through here and I can see all the photos that I've taken using this phone and that other phone. So that's one of the benefits of, of using Google Photos and having your photos backed up to the cloud. So you can simply access your photos much easier and you can also see them all in one place.
So that's a quick rundown of how to take pictures and also where to find them after you've taken them. If the video was helpful, make sure you bump that like button down below. Also, here is gonna be a playlist of more videos to help you continue learning and you'll find another great video here as well. Thanks for watching, take care, and as always, have a good one.